And you had a packed weekend. I did. I have to tell you, I'm still pinching myself. It was incredible with Comic Palooza. Um, I got to sit down with uh, Amelia Clark and Natalie Emanuel, of course, the two leading boss babes from yeah. uh, Game of Thrones. What's interesting, when I actually had a, just a quick chat with Amelia, uh, she had never been to Houston before, and so we were talking about, you know, her at the Rockets game, and, you know, did you get Tex-Mex? And she said, no, but, I mean, I was asking everybody if there's a rodeo, like, can I go? And I said, no, girl, you got to come back. Oh. you got to come back to town <laughs> for that. You know, because everybody thinks that we just ride horses, ride horses and to cowboy work every hats. Day. Yeah. yeah. So I thought that was a really cute, uh, fun exchange. But I have to tell you, as uber stars as these two women are and they can't go anywhere without being recognized i'm sure um gracious beautiful very real you know i was nervous to meet them but they hugged me right away and uh this was after the interview actually they they Aww. asked we asked for a photo and uh they and were they gracious loved your enough to do it. we chatted about the t-shirt they actually had me go in the middle because i wasn't going to separate them and they said no no you come in the middle and i said oh okay you know but um here's a little bit of a recap of what we chatted about on stage briefly they need to hear you they need to hear a houston welcome And I love that you guys are true friends. Yeah. And you really, you haven't seen each other other than a few moments backstage. No, I know, yeah. We just sort of grab at each other backstage. <laughs> <laughs> I think, what is that like for you to have not only the trusted advisor, the character, but also somebody that's a trusted friend in your life after this amazing Game of Thrones season? No, I know, it's, it's amazing, it's brilliant. Because as Nat was saying, it really is. There's a lot of boys. Yeah. There's a lot of boys for a long time. Uh, and then Nat came along and I was like, yes. <laughs> okay, good. So let's take it back to real world. And last night was a first for you. <laughs> yes. Amelia. Yes, I it mean, was. Sadly, Could our Rockets didn't make it, but you were at the Rockets game so last can night. We? So it was close. so close. I know. Oh. But this was your very first NBA game ever? It was my very first game. Ever. People keep being like, it's my first NBA game. It's my first basketball game. game. I've never been. How cool. Are right, you guys said the same thing? I just said the same thing. <laughs> And um, you were kind of fangirling, I guess, a little bit yesterday, right? Oh, my God. Can we, can the Queen was in the building. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, I was hurt, I was hurt in my heart when I saw that she was there and I wasn't there. Queen B, Beyonce. <laughs> just... Because, yeah, you're I'm a huge fan. No, I'm a huge fan. And then I managed it because now I've watched Homecoming three times. And every time I watch it, it genuinely gives me inspiration. And she's been on like every single Danny playlist, Daenerys, Mother Dragons playlist, that I've ever had. Ah, she has. But we run the world. But we used to do this. So, we did. Oh, we oh, have, you got to okay. show us. No, no. There's no, no? dancing. Okay. There's no dancing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> no. no. Um, <laughs> but we used to be like, in this scene, yeah. this Beyonce song yeah. is the theme of this song. 100%. We did that. Them you did. What country and were then the in? other we one did. was and the other one was Diva. I remember. Yeah. <gasps> yes. Is yes. Yes. A yeah. Diva is a female version of a hustler. <laughs> you know. <I'm> like, <laughs> so we were in Morocco filming and my costume was somewhat revealing. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Kind of plunge line. You know? And, you know, there was a certain response to that. <laughs> and I did not take kindly to that response. Yes. So, yeah, we bonded pretty... So, it there was, was a yeah. very quick, it was like, like, hey, no, yeah. like protective thing over yeah. each other. Exactly, so. exactly. And it felt very... It suddenly... I mean, I was so grateful to have Nat join us <laughs> and forever. <laughs> and, um, and I think that just, like... Very quickly, yeah. it was like, oh, we're in it. These are long days. Yeah. We're getting into it. There's a lot of people here. And I think we just... Yeah, we straight away, like, there was... Straight away, I felt very like, oh, someone's got my back. Right. And you had that you moment know, of, like, uh-uh. Yeah. You yeah. say something you know. to her, I'm going to... Yeah, yes. we should, women should have their backs, and those yes. comments shouldn't be made. Yes. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.
It really was such a cool conversation. That room was Whoa. packed. It's huge. It was huge. And I think there was like 2,000 people maybe in the room. And what I will tell you is, you know, um, Natalie, or Nat, maybe I can just call her Nat, because now we're kind of, you know, we're friends. Uh, she came in to Game of Thrones on season three. And so clearly these roles for these women were not only career changing, but life changing for them. And she was working in retail at the time. And um, six weeks prior, she had auditioned for Game of Thrones, never heard a thing. And so her agent calls her that day and she's walking home with seven bags of groceries in London and the agent says, you got it. And she said, oh, okay, not really a reaction because she just recently uh, auditioned for a commercial. So Remember, she six thought, weeks earlier was the Game of Thrones. She thought it was a commercial. She thought she it got. was the commercial. And the agent said, uh, what's your problem? Like, I, I thought you would be a little bit more excited. And she said, well, it's the commercial. And they said, no, you got Game of Thrones. And she dropped her groceries on the street in London. So she broke the jam jar. And like from that moment forward is what she's never looked back. Life changing. And life changing. We had a moment of silence on stage for her character. If you don't know this by now, her character was beheaded. So not a spoiler. It happened two weeks ago. So if you don't know, no, too bad. Um, but so we had a moment of silence it so for the casually. character. Yeah, her head was chopped you know, off. It's it's Game of Thrones. So the other thing is, um, we I asked them too on stage, you know, about the set basically uh, on Game of Thrones. There's tons of candles. I'm not. Even, I, this is the first time I'm seeing some of these photos. It's really cool. Um, the can, you know, are the candles real? And they said, oh yeah, no, it's real. It's a total hazard. And sometimes you're in a scene and there's wax dripping on our head, so they have to like tilt the chandeliers to get the wax out. Or if you look closely in a lot of these scenes, you'll see soot under their noses and faces because they've stood there so long. Breathing in the smoke from They're, the candles. It's right there. Um, there's no zippers on any of the costumes. The corsets are in there and you know there's no potty breaks because then you have to be literally taken out of these costumes. No potty break. Yeah, it's a long day. So where do you where do you? It's go? just a long day. You know, you don't move. You don't. Yeah, and a lot of waiting. Uh, Amelia wears oh. contacts, and she said, you know, those long stares that she does. The we're seeing a lot of that now in the last couple episodes. But um, her contacts will pop out because her eyes just get dry. You know, she wears different colored contacts for the character, and it was just really neat to hear all of that. And the fact that they are very close. And she said, too, that, you know, all of them are very close, uh, all of the, the actors on set. They had a blast uh, working together. And, and they're both ready to move on. And say, do something you know, new. It's been, it's been a decade, it's been a long time, and uh, it's a lot to, to take in those characters. And they're, they're ready to see what's next. Yeah, well, they're like a family, and I'm sure they'll stay in touch, but having a role like that that's so iconic, I'm sure they'll always be known for these roles. A hundred percent. And Natalie um, is doing four weddings and a funeral, so that's coming up, um, and of course, Fast and Furious stuff, too, so different stuff on the pipeline for her character as well.